Hello everyone. As we practice COVID-19 safety procedures, we'll continue to mail your lesson leaflets, coloring sheets, puzzles, and other items related to our lessons. I am Ruth Reynolds. Let's get started. Our lesson today is Jesus Ascends to Heaven. Let's begin reading the accounts from Matthew, Luke, and Acts. You can read along from the printed sheets that I sent to you in the mail, or you can follow along in your own Bible. Our first lesson is from Matthew 28, verses 16 to 20. Then the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Our next lesson is from Luke chapter 24, verses 44 to 53. He said to them, This is what I told you when I was still with you. Everything must be fulfilled that is written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms. Then he opened their minds so they could understand the scriptures. He told them, This is what is written. The Messiah will suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and repentance for the forgiveness of sins will be preached in his name to all nations, beginning in Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. I'm going to send you what my Father has promised, but stay in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. When he had led them out to the vicinity of Bethany, he lifted up his hands and blessed them. While he was blessing them, he left them and was taken up into heaven. Then they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy, and they stayed continually at the temple, praising God. Our third and final lesson from the Bible today is Jesus taken up to heaven in Acts chapter 1 verses 1 to 11. In my former book, Theophilus, I wrote about all that Jesus began to do and to teach until the day he was taken up to heaven. After giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles he had chosen. After his suffering, he presented himself to them and gave many convincing proofs that he was alive. He appeared to them over a period of 40 days and spoke about the kingdom of God. On one occasion, while he was eating with them, he gave them this command, Do not leave Jerusalem, but wait for the gift of my Father has promised, which you have heard me speak about. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Then they gathered around him and asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He said to them, It's not for you to know the times or dates the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. After this, he was taken up before their very eyes, and a cloud hid them from their sight. They were looking intently up into the sky as he was going, when suddenly two men, dressed in white, stood beside them. Why do you stand looking there into the sky? This same Jesus, who was taken from you into heaven, will come back in the same way you have seen him go into heaven. These are the readings from the, the Bible, and let's look at our next slide, and we'll talk a little bit about these. Okay, let's talk about these uh, lessons just a little bit. We'll start with the Matthew one. 
Uh, you'll notice right at the first it talks about 11 disciples. Why weren't there 12? Don't you remember there were always 12 disciples? Oh, that's right. Judas was the one who betrayed Jesus. And he was so upset after he betrayed Jesus that he went out and he committed suicide. He killed himself. Yeah, so now there were only 11 left. These 11 disciples were quite frightened. They were afraid that someone would come and get them and take them and kill them too. So they were always hiding away, trying to get away. They didn't really understand what they were supposed to do now. They had followed Jesus for these last three years. Jesus had taught them things and he had healed people and showed them his power over, over death and over uh, nature and over all things on earth. He had all the power and he was sinless and he did everything. And now they were alone. At least they thought they were alone. It says that they went up with Jesus uh, at this time to the top of a hill. And of course, this is after Jesus was crucified, after he went into the tomb, and after God rose him from the dead, and he walked with them for 40 days. Okay, so here he is, and they're up there on top of this mountain. And he tells them that all authority in heaven and earth has been given to me, and he gives them a job. He says, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I've commanded you. And then he tells them that he's with them. He's not going to leave them forever. They are going to be here with him. He's going to be with them and, and help them in all things that he does. And now we go on to Luke. And Luke is the one who kind of puts a little bit more detail into this. And he tells the same lesson. And he talks to, to uh, his disciples, the other disciples, about what Jesus is actually telling them. Don't you remember? Don't you remember what Jesus said, that the Messiah will have to suffer and rise from the dead? And, and that repentance, repentance, that means I'm sorry, and the forgiveness of sins, and that's what God does for us. It'll be preached in Jesus' name to all the people in the world, everybody. And then he's lifted up and he goes into heaven and the angels are so, I mean, the, the disciples are so excited that this happened and that, that he, he blessed them that they went back and they went into Jerusalem and they went to the temple and they prayed and they talked to God and they read his word. Okay, now we're gonna go over to Acts. And Acts was also written by Luke. And Luke goes in here and he gives even more details about it. And he's talking to a disciple. His disciple is uh, named Theophilus. And um, you know that these are more disciples of Jesus. And the older disciples speak to the younger ones and teach them. And that's what they were told to do, is to go and make disciples of other people. And so here he says um, that he's doing the same thing. And he says, wait, he says, wait for the gift uh, from my father that I've promised you. He told the disciples about this time and again, and they didn't understand. They just thought that he was there to be what they call a bread king, so that Everyone will have enough food. He will drive out the Romans from our country. We'll be able to live in peace and happiness. And no one will rule over us, just God. But he said, you know what? You're not supposed to know this kind of thing. You need to just stop. And you need to do God's work. And don't worry about the rest of the things. I can take care of those. And so he says, you will receive power from on high, from the Holy Spirit, and he'll come to you, and then you're going to be my witnesses because you're going to understand everything that I have told you. 
and you'll tell it to other people. So after he said this, he was taken up before their very eyes. So this all happened up on top of that mountain. And they were taken up, and they just kept looking up into the sky, looking up and looking up. It's like, hey, you guys, there were two angels right there. And they said, what are you doing? Why are you still looking up into the sky? This same Jesus is going to come back in the same way. And he is going to be able to, to take care of us and, and to take us to be with, with him in heaven. But right now, you have to get yourself back to Jerusalem and wait because the Holy Spirit is going to come upon you. And uh, everything is going to be fine. So this is our lesson for today. And I know there's a few things in here that are hard to understand. But as we look at the window that you see up above here, you see all of these pictures. You see Jesus going up into the sky. And you see all the guys down below. Those are the disciples, and they're still looking up to him. And then we see the angels, and the angels are there talking to him. Now, why do we have things like this? Why do we have windows? Do we worship these windows? No, we don't worship the windows. But we look at them, and they remind us of the lessons that we are learning through the Bible. These are the, the things that the Holy Spirit uses to point us to Jesus, to remind us always that he is with us and that he loves us and that he helps us. Okay, let's look at the next slide. Our thanks to Concordia Publishing House for making the, this video possible with the lift lesson leaflets and Ascending Truth. After Jesus' resurrection, he appeared to his disciples many times. He spoke to them about the kingdom of God. Jesus wanted the disciples to know that his work of salvation was finished. Jesus told them that everything that had been written about him in the Old Testament scriptures had been fulfilled. He opened their minds to understand scripture. When Jesus returned to heaven, he would prepare a place for those who believed in him. Forty days after the resurrection, Jesus led his disciples to a hill outside of Bethany called the Mount of Olives. Jesus told the disciples that they would receive power when the Holy Spirit would come on them. The disciples would be his witnesses. They would tell about the forgiveness of sins and life everlasting to people in Jerusalem and many other places. When Jesus had said these things, he suddenly started to go up, 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 off the ground. While they were watching, he rose higher and higher into the air until he went up through the clouds and left them. A cloud took him out of sight. Now Jesus sits at the right hand of God the Father in heaven. He prays for us and rules everything that happens in the whole world for the good of his church. While the disciples were gazing up into heaven, two men stood by them. They were angels in white robes. The angels said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking into heaven? Jesus, who was taken up from you into heaven, will come again in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. Then the disciples returned to Jerusalem and went to the temple to worship him. They were joyful that they were not alone. They waited eagerly for the gift of the Holy Spirit, which God had promised to them. We're going to learn more about this gift next week as we learn about Pentecost. Let's look at the next page. Okay, guys, here is a puzzle that I, I thought I'd make up for you to kind of give you something to keep you busy and have a little bit of fun. Uh, as you see at the top, there is a key there, and each of the, the letters and the numbers correspond to the, the numbers down below. And if you do this, then you can put in the numbers. I like to to find uh, the first number and then find all of the other numbers that have the same letter. 
and put in all those letters and then go on to the next one. And pretty soon you may be able to know that verse all by yourself. You'll notice that the picture over on the side is the disciples with the angels talking to them. Let's finish the puzzle and, and see what this good news is that the angels told the disciples. Thank you for joining me today. We'll see you next time. We're going to close now with the Lord's Prayer. We fold our hands and bow our head. We pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Bye-bye.